I used to always say in the old buildings, they were built for an analog world. And our kids are going to grow up in the digital world. And teaching kids in that digital world. Pencils and papers are still part of the classrooms, but at one Columbiana County school district, uh, iPads are becoming a new school supply. Well, one of the goals at Beaver, at Beaver Local School is to have an iPad for every student. Most students are using them in the classroom five days a week. The district is wrapping up its first year in the new technology-driven building. 27 First News Weekend anchor Julie Bursick was in class today to see how technology is a big part of the learning process. She joins us live in the studio now to explain. Yeah, Beaver Local Schools is close to a lot of farmland. I actually lost cell phone service when I was driving there today, but inside that new state-of-the-art school building, technology is just about everywhere you look. We live in a swipe and go society. It's second nature for a lot of kids. You give them a magazine or you give them a book or something and they try to make it move uh, at the earliest ages because they're used to seeing everything and in their world that's what they're used to. Every classroom here has an Apple TV and this gives teachers the ability to actually pull up what a student is doing on their iPad right up here on the board for everyone to see. The standards are still the standards. Your basics are still the basics. They're still taught. Turn that into a percentage. What do we do with those two values? Technology like iPads helps teachers connect with students in a way they're used to. Teachers can instantly assess a student's progress. Because they see it as it happens, and they can also offer instantaneous feedback right to the student's device. The technology also gives students the ability to show they've mastered a lesson in a different way. Through creating movies, maybe, with the content they learned in class. Maybe it's creating like a slideshow. The digital component is a big part of the classroom. Daniel, can you explain your thinking on that? But there's still traditional teaching going on. This is all caught the eye of the Ohio Facilities Commission. It's during the school district Tuesday to see it all in action. This is what they believe to be a flagship school uh, in their state as far as the uh, setup for technology. For the district, it's about 21st century learning, creating new opportunities to train the next generation. So the middle school principal actually co-authored a book called Your School Rocks. This is a resource for educators, specifically on using social media to reach kids and their parents. Now one example he gave me, instead, instead of sending out a newsletter, they can do a video newsletter letting parents and students know exactly what's going on.